Welcome to 27th of every scholarly blessing. Now, Supreme Father of Year says that be a true effort maker, and you can be a true effort maker when you're content with yourself and you're content with everybody else around you, and people are content with you. So let's understand how do we do that over here. God says, may you be a true effort maker and imbibe contentment in the form of cleanliness in your relationships and remain constantly lighter and happier. God says, throughout the day, you have relationships with a variety of souls. Wherever you're working, you meet up people, you are in conversation with them for some reason or the other. Check in those what the percentage of contentment was in yourself and in the other souls in relationship with you throughout the day it doesn't mean that you bow down or you bend down or you bend backwards to accommodate anyone and everyone but there's a method of doing it there's a method of saying no also so god says the sign of contentment is that you yourself will be light and happy in your mind and others too will be happy now it's not about we generally think that when we come into relationship something out to do with financial give and take it is about making other people happy without any exchange of goods gifts and monetary help now we are thinking of something spiritual how do you look at others how do you look at them and how do you look at yourself if you are in a comparative mood you're not content yourself you can not make other person content also you try to make other person feel lesser than you whether it's in your job profile whether it's in the way how much you earn whether it's what kind of house or what kind of position or how many people you know that itself that kind of talk itself will make somebody else lower than you so how do you make other people feel if you're not content that means if you're jealous or if you're feeling low about yourself then obviously you'll try to put other people down so that's why god always says cleanliness in relationships so that is not a clean relationship where you're trying to show that you are above somebody else that's not at all cleanliness cleanliness in relationships means contentment so check yourself when is it that throughout the day we try to show that we are better than the other person certainly we do that we try to show that we are more wiser than the other person or we have more knowledge than the other person certainly we do that and that is also ego that means we are not yet content Cleanliness in relationships means contentment that you don't have to prove yourself to anybody else, and that's where people will love to be around you because they don't feel as if you're trying to put them down. God then says, "This is through honesty and cleanliness in those relationships." This is why it is said. So, how do you be content? First, honesty. Second, cleanliness. This is why it is said, "When there is truth, the soul dances." such to be to nach such to be to nach that means when there is truth in a soul's mind the soul is always dancing around and what do we need in relationships honesty truth we need cleanliness in our relationships in our dealings a true effort maker will continue to dance in happiness that means somebody who's meeting people around and making a clean and decent relationship will automatically be dancing in happiness you too can do so but to know these subtle nuances of how we tend to make other people feel low around us and how to develop that honest and clean kind of relationship do come over and do take this beautiful knowledge at pramakumaris om shanti